Good morning, Vintage Outboard and Motor fans. This is T-Mike here in South Louisiana making another video today. Today's video is going to be how to troubleshoot a Vintage Outboard that has a spark problem on one cylinder. So here's my Rosie motor that I'm in the process of rebuilding, restoring. I've rebuilt the, the magneto wiring, everything done. Got it get ready to get turned up and I only have spark on the top cylinder so I thought I'd make a video of how to run the trouble and try to fix that so she's an electric start motor I got my spark tester set up here on the top and bottom cylinders I got it grounded to the carburetor needle valve so let's hit the electric start on it and see how the spark looks As you can see, there's only spark on the top cylinder. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is check the wiring with a voltmeter, see if I see the coil on the bottom cylinder and see if uh, that tests good. So if everybody's ready, here we go. All right. So I've got my meter, my volt ohm meter set up on the ohm scale. I have the black lead connected to ground and I have the red lead put inside the plug boot of the bottom coil. Alright, and I should measure between 3 and 10,000 ohms and I do see 6,120 ohms. So that tells me that the wiring from this boot into the magneto is good because that's what the secondary coil reads right here. So now I'm going to, uh, well, it tells me that actually that the, the spark boot is good up to here. Now I'm going to check the wiring coming from here, the wiring from here going into the magneto. I should pull this lead off and look for between one and three ohms to see the primary coil inside this magneto. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so now I move my lead from the spark boot to the wiring harness going into the magneto and now I'm looking at the primary coil inside here and I'm looking for between 1 and 3 ohms and I see 2.1 ohms. So that tells me the wiring is good. So I'm going to do a little flip-flop. I'm going to move these two leads coming from the magneto top and bottom to test these coils see if that moves the spark trouble so here we go with that okay so what i did is i swapped these two connections all right so this is the top coil let's mark top i hooked it on the bottom coil And I took the bottom lead and hooked it to the top coil. So now, if I hit the electric start, the spark moved through the bottom coil. So that tells me that the signal for spark coming from the top is good. It runs, the so spark runs good through the bottom coil, top coil, and the bottom coil. So the trouble is up in the magneto on the lead here. So I pinpoint the trouble inside the magneto. I'm gonna take it off and start swapping condensers and points and see if I can find the trouble inside the magneto. Stay tuned for that. All right, so I've removed the rewind starter and the flywheel. Here's the magneto inside. Here's the driver coil. that has two leads coming off of it to these breaker points and standing at it right here this would be the top set of breaker points and this would be the bottom so I think our trouble is on this side I'm gonna take the leads off and measure the output of this coil I'll get set up for that now all right I removed the three screws 
and I'm gonna flip the coil over. We'll try that. That'll move the outputs to a different cylinder and see if I can move the treble. Okay, I'll flip the coil over to make the outputs change. Let's see if the treble moved. Nope, still got no spark on the bottom. So I'm gonna work on condensers and coils now. See if we can fix it. Alright, so kill switch doesn't come up to there. It comes into in line right in here, so that can't be the problem. I swapped condensers. That didn't move the trouble. So what I've done now is I took the points apart, which they measured good when I timed them. And look what I found on a brand new set of points. See the pit on there? There's a pit on that base point. I don't know if you can see it or not. But I see some pitting, so I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and change the points. There's a pit right there. Change the points, see if we can fix it. Okay, the contact set replacement point I'm going to use is an 18-5156. Change those points, see what we got. Okay, new set of points put in there. Time is set with my timing tool. Put it back together, see if we got spark. Well, guess what? After changing that set of points up there, look what happened. Yeah, baby. We got spark on both sides now. Problem solved. Brand new set of points pitted. I guess the uh, that's the second set of new points I find that are pitted. So I guess the moral of this story is check your new points before you put them in for pits. So we're on our way now. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. See y'all next time. Hope you enjoyed the video here at Team Bikes Vintage Outboards. We're doing it one motor at a time. Please click on subscribe by guarantee to provide weekly videos. Au revoir mes amis and laissez les bon temps rouler.